You did multiple episodes of Gunsmoke. Many. And was there a consistency in the crew and the team and the mood that was uh, on that show? It lasted for 20 years. Well, first of all, I was a roommate with Amanda Blake for two years <laughs> before she got Gunsmoke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I've got a funny story about her. Well, let's hear it. Well, we were. she wanted to get on that show, and uh, we were just living from paycheck to paycheck. I was working at iMagnons at the time, and she was wanted to go on this interview for Gunsmoke, and we had to round up quarters and nickels and dimes because she wanted to dress in a Western outfit. So she had to go to the West and rent it, rent the dress, but it paid off. <laughs> She got the part, but that uh, Amanda and I go back a long way. Well, what type of person was she? She was a hot little girl. <laughs> <laughs> she had that gorgeous red hair, you know, and green eyes, and just beautiful. One time, I'll just give you a little hint of what she was like, really. One time, we were about to have a dinner, and... Uh, we invited some friends over, and one of her boyfriends came by, and he was telling her she was doing the salad incorrectly, cutting it incorrectly. Well, she ran in the bathroom, locked the door, and I said, Amanda, don't do this. I've worked all day, and I'm tired, and please come on out. And she said, no, I'm going to kill myself. And I said, uh, how? <laughs> <laughs> and she said, I've got a razor blade. And I went, oh, my God. Amanda, please do me a favor. Get in the bathtub. If you're going to cut your wrists, I don't want to have to mop up blood at the end of the night. Well, she came out and says, you didn't really care. I said, yes, I cared, but I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> but she was, she was feisty. She was feisty.